And now for something completely different. There's a type of relation that's going to be much more useful than the others. Well, isn't that special? It's a special relation called a function. Wait a minute. The definition of a function and what makes it special is every element in the domain is paired with a unique element in the range. In other words, every element in the domain gets only one element in the range. Saying that another way, every x is paired with only one y. His brain is gone. If you still have trouble, we say as long as all the x's are different. Okay? The deal is that there's going to be some sort of a formula typically in a relation that maps every x to a y. That gives every input variable x an answer y. Now, if any of those x's have more than one answer, well, it's not going to make it a very useful formula because you won't know which answer to use. So, we're going to limit our practical relations to functions. And these are the ones that, if you would, have only one answer. Or, as I said, every element in the domain, the x's, is paired with only one element in the range, the y's. Let's look at some examples. Allow me to demonstrate. For instance, relation A. Hmm. Is every x mapped to only one y? Or are all the x's different? And son of a gun, they are. All the x's, 4, 0, 6, and 2, they are all different. Now, two of them are mapped to the number 6. 4 is mapped to 6, and 2 is mapped to 6. But each of those elements, 4 and 2, is only mapped to one number. So as long as it's only mapped to one number, in other words, each x only has one answer, then you do have a function. So, relation A gets the function seal of approval. Now, let's look at relation B. All the x's are different. That's probably the easiest way to do it, isn't it? No x is paired with more than one y. So once again, we have a function here, a relation that is a special type of function, a, a special type of relation of function. In C, Wait a minute. all the x's are not different. In fact, in this case, they're really not different. They're all the same. The number 1 gets mapped to various answers. 1 gets mapped to 4. 1 gets mapped to 3. Oh, yes. And it only takes one repeat to mess it up. So this, while this is a relation, for you. it is not a function. Finally, D. This is a little bit confusing. D is a relation that has all the x's are different. 4, 3, 2, and 5. They're all different. Now they all get mapped to the same number, but they don't get mapped to, and no one gets mapped to more than one y. So, believe it or not, relation D is in fact a function. Note once again, the y's do not have to be different. It's the x's that have to be different. It's not fair, isn't it? But that's the way it works. Every x gets only one y, or every input has only one answer, if you would. Now, Prepare to be astonished. consider that these pairings can actually be x, y points. If we look at the picture of a relation, we can test whether that relation is a function graphically. Uh, excuse me, Professor Brainiac. We can test visually whether each x has more than one y by using Are you pondering what, I'm pondering what we call the vertical line test. If we run a vertical line test across the graph and it never touches more than one point at one time, hmm. in other words, if we move a vertical line across the graph without hitting that actual green graph in two places ever, then, and you see, then in fact, we do have a function. And in this case, we do have a picture of a function. No x got mapped with more than one y. 
It is a function. Do that again. Let's see if this relation is a function using the vertical line test. It went a little quickly, but it never hit two at the same time. So that function is, I mean, that relation is a function. Now, just when you thought all relations were functions, Thank you, sir, may I have let's take a look at this one and see what would make something not be a function. There, in that spot, it actually hit, okay, hopefully you can see, two points for the same x value. That's the x value 2, and 2, hopefully you can see, got mapped to about 1 and about 5. So 2 got mapped to two things, and of course the vertical line hit the uh, picture in two places at the same time. So while this is a relation, so they said, it's not a function. How about this relation? Well, does it ever, ever hit the green line in two spots at the same time? It doesn't, so that it is a function. There's something schooly around here. Now this relation, if we use the vertical line test, hits it in two places at that spot. And it only takes one double touch to mess it up. Now, there are many other double touches here, aren't there? But it only takes one to mess it up. So while this may be a picture of a relation, it is not a picture of a function. Nothing for you. Do you recognize this relation? Maybe you don't, but... Uh, excuse me, Professor Brainiac. This is a picture of the sine function. Why do you think it's called the sine function? because it is, in fact, a function. No x gets mapped to more than one y. But now you know. The rest of the story. Once again, I need you to remember that a function is a special type of relation where every x gets mapped to only one y. So every input that you put into maybe some formula that formula is such that it only comes out with one answer for each of the x's. So... Go do your homework.